Larry, just talk a little bit about, uh, I think someone mentioned uh, warranty returns and, and customer comebacks. You know, how, how do you account for sort of the parts failure side of things versus installer error? And are, are parts made better today so that you see more of the, part, the returns coming in are due to lack of training on the installer end, or is it a situation where, you know, how is that, that process handled? Larry, you want to start, or Michael? Well, we've seen uh, warranty returns go up, creep up, not go up dramatically, but creep up each year, and, and I believe that is primarily the function of the complexity of the car. Um, I would say that over 50% of the returns that come back, or maybe 75 to 80%, uh, is installer error. Now, the question is how do you deal with that? Uh, for the most part, our industry has dealt with it uh, like L.L. Bean, where if you say it's bad, it's bad. Um, and, and one of the reasons is that by the time the part comes back to us, the manufacturer, credit has already been given all up and down the chain already. The, 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 the car owner got a credit, the mechanic got a credit, the jobber got a credit, and when it comes back to us, uh, the, the failure could have occurred six months before, and everybody's been given credit all the way down. So for the, for the most part, you wind up eating it, uh, and it becomes a cost of doing business. Uh, however, in, at least in our case, there, where there was an example where it got totally out of line uh, in air conditioning, compressors, where we're getting 20% back, and 90% was installed there. And we determined that the reason for that was that the installer was, was only repair, repairing part of the system, not the whole system. And as a result, when he put the new part in, that failed also. It was killing us. So we put in a policy which is not common in the industry. Uh, but we said you have to prove you did the whole thing, otherwise we're not going to take it back. And it knocked the returns down 75%. That was, uh, that was very good. But for the most part, cost of doing business, we need it. And if one of you folks has a better idea, I would love to hear the, uh, the lifetime warranty on parts uh, that exist today in most uh, product lines affects uh, returns. Uh, but you know, going back to the uh, uh, sophisticated diagnostics, uh, we're getting less and less uh, uh, no trouble founds uh, coming back to us uh, in, in returns. We think that the diagnostic equipment, as well as the technology at the store level, uh, with the information they're providing the uh, uh, consumer and even the uh, uh, professional installer, uh, the information that's available on, on, the, on the web, the chat rooms, the vehicle-specific uh, bulletin boards out there. The, there's a tremendous amount of information out there to help uh, the, the installer uh, focus in on the right installation process, uh, the right uh, add-on parts, uh, fluids, whatever, to add uh, into the job to ensure that the uh, uh, part stays on, on the vehicle. No one wants a part to come off the vehicle. Uh, there's, and, and if they can fix the car the first time with the right part, uh, everybody's going to be happy. So uh, uh, the, uh, the other side of that we see is the, our, our customers are taking a more active part in uh, uh, attacking this problem. If you heard what AutoZone has seen, that uh, it's, it's a very sophisticated system. Uh, and they're actively uh, engaged with their suppliers on focusing in on specific problems. There's application-specific information that's going out with the part today that we never had before. 